This is the solution to written homework 11. Okay, well, we can always get r back. So r of x is equal to the antiderivative of the derivative of r of x. So if, if a function has been differentiated, you can get it back by anti-differentiating the derivative. So that is antiderivative of 16x minus 9 dx, which is, uh, so antiderivative of 16x, that would be 8x squared and then minus 9x plus some unknown constant, c. So that's r of x. So now, that's the first step. And now, to determine the value of c, which we haven't figured out yet, we're going to use this extra piece of information. So what it's saying, what that red piece of information is saying, it's saying you'll know you have the right C when. You'll have the right C when you plug in 3 and you get 2017. Okay. So we're supposed to get 2017 when we plug in 3. And therefore, 2017 is, I'll plug in 3 there. That's 8 times 3, oops, 8 times 3 squared, uh, minus 9 times 3. So that's 45 plus C. And 2017 minus 45 is 1972. So that's the value of C, and as a result, the answer is that R of X is equal to 8X squared minus 9X plus 1972. Okay. <clears throat> So part B is exactly the same question, but the, the structure is exactly the same, except the, the numbers are different, more or less. So the first thing is that the cost function, C of x, is the antiderivative of the derivative of the cost function. Okay. So that will be the antiderivative of that thing there. So 6x squared minus 2x plus 1 dx. OK, so we'll anti-differentiate this. So the new exponent will be 3 and then divide by 3. So that's 2x cubed and then uh, minus x squared and then plus x and then plus some unknown constant which I'll write as k. So the reason why I'm using k is because I don't want to confuse myself with a greater because we're already using c. So it would be confusing to write another c there. Okay, so I'll write k for the for the unknown constant. And so now to determine determine k, we'll use the extra piece of information.
we'll use the fact that the cost of 30 items is 1326, which is to say we'll know we have the right cost function when you plug in 30 and get 1326. So 1326 is what you get when you plug in 30. Okay, so plugging that in. 1326 is, plug in 30 into there, 2 times 30 square, uh, cubed minus 30 squared plus 30 is 53130 plus k and then move the 53130 to the other side is negative 51804 equal to k and as a result the cost function is 2x cubed, I'm going to need more horizontal space than that, is 2x cubed minus x squared plus x and then minus 51804. So that's an interesting cost function because notice that uh, when you plug in 0, when you plug in 0, uh, the cost is negative, which means that uh, if you don't make any items, you still make money, uh, which, which means, I suppose, that this, uh, that this cost function is somehow uh, being forced by government to make money. <laughs>